uh, it will be useful for everybody when they are also seeing their YouTube links and whatever is prepared by your CR or others so that all these YouTube links uh, will be provided to all the students, especially for those who are unable to join because of poor internet connectivity when they are at remote places uh, in this typical Omicron Delta COVID-19 2021-22 periods. Now, without wasting time, uh, shall we continue now? I could see uh, Surya, Shiti Kanta, Saswata, Mayank, Nitish, Swarup, and others. Now, shall I start our class when connectivity is good now itself? So that you uh, will not waste the time and uh, you need to give. You, my voice through your phones. Uh, many times it happened. OK, Surya, shall we continue? Uh, who is your class representative? Yes, sir, we can start. I am Sir Saswat Ripati. Saswat, yeah. So Saswat must be making all these YouTube links and provide it to all the students. Yes, that can be yes, uh, done in many ways in the previous at least in this two, three years period of online teaching learning process to take care of this poor internet connectivity and uh, remote places where our beloved students have undergone coal mining methods, MN2102 are staying. So all that YouTube links will help them. And uh, they can also organize in such a way that through this year, so few students will be given responsibility to make few of the classes that YouTube links and provide uh, at the end uh, to all uh, also can be kept in this uh, MS Teams. Uh, now, without wasting time, uh, let me know whether my screen is visible because now connectivity is good. So uh, is my screen visible? Then we will start our lecture mm -hmm. number 17. Yesterday we had a very good uh, lovable day on sweet 16th lecture. And uh, we have been discussing about many issues of uh, our module two, that is extraction of pillars, long wall mining and all, which will be there up to our uh, uh, Friday class also. Uh, I mean lecture 18, that much will be there in your mid-sem examination. And already we discussed the pattern of the examination so uh, I think everybody will be comfortable with that. Now, yesterday itself, I have also uh, submitted to all of you uh, some material related to our part of module two, as far as extraction of pillars, long wall mining and all are concerned. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, will be useful for you uh, since you are approaching your mid sem examination also that's why I just I wanted to show some of that and if you have any doubts also we will discuss. And uh, in fact, in this module to what I provided to you, their extraction of the pillars and related to long wall mining was also given and you know very well extraction of pillars can be done by caving or stowing and uh, another uh, file also I provided to you where mechanization of underground coal mining is also very much required to be understood. And there uh, uh, many materials are already available in the reference books and other references and materials I provided to you. In that, uh, even from the days of Munidi Kalari in 87 when long wall mining started, of course, that also we will discuss a little bit today and in the next uh, classes. Uh, on Friday also. And uh, because of uh, uh, some of the these mines where I also was a part of uh, investigations, I can give you more and more information, whether it is in the uh, Godavari Valley coal fields, GDK number seven incline. When I was just like you, I was there in that mine. And now that mine is closed and it is a C7 LEP. Uh, extension project. Uh, it is uh, in progress now 
where we will be taking up some more investigations as discussed yesterday with the general manager. So with all these, we will discuss so many things and materials are provided to you. And just I wanted to highlight some of these uh, in our uh, these two days lectures also. And here some material uh, it is written as Andhra Pradesh, but this would be taken as a Telangana because when I prepared it is like that. Now it should be Telangana. Let me change here itself. But in that material later we will change it. So this is in Telangana state. OK. So ultimately our aim is to know what is the mechanization going on and how it started and where we stand. Of course, I am giving you the latest information are on uh, mechanization with continuous minor and all those things. But in all these, we are supposed to know that as far as underground mining is concerned, it is a revolutionized based on power supports for long wall mining. And that is what now we are having even about 3 million tons, 2.85 million tons planned production. And for that, we should know what is the manpower. Those things also we'll discuss. That's why just I kept it as a blank. Manpower, what is deployed at the working phases and all we should know. And also that manpower related to if it is a manual mining, if it is a semi-mechanized and mechanized in Bowden pillar and in long wall, all those things we should know so that you can plan for it. And you will be observed when you go to the mines, maybe as a shifting charge in the beginning itself, you are taking care of manpower distribution and all. And then production, as you have seen yesterday itself, I told a little bit about the production figures. That means when you blast a face of this much, I mean 4 meter by 3 meter, and then uh, 1.5 meter pull, if you can get for blast, then you are getting around 27 tons. So if you make it even round figure 25 tons, then how many blasts you have to make it to get how much of production to take that our coal evacuation because that is a cycle. All that cycle, you should know about it. With so many examples also, I will tell you, my beloved students. And from there, you also should know how is the productivity. That means productivity as far as the persons are concerned or productivity as far as the machinery is concerned. That may be, as I said before, if it is a long wall equipment, if it is a shearer we are using, even a per day, we can produce up to 13, 14,000 tons from a long wall face of around 300 meter face length uh, and then two, three kilometers long face. And uh, in that way, if it is a continuous miner, we can produce even up to 2,500 tons per day for one machine. I mean a continuous miner. There is a productivity of that machine, right? The, similarly, uh, the most common semi-mechanized methods of extraction with LHDs, load hull dumper, and side discharge loader or side dump loader SDLs. It is around 200 tons, I mean 150 to 200, and around 120 to 100 to 150 for SDLs and for LHDs. These things, these are priority of the missions. At the same time, when you know what is the manpower and how much production we are getting, and then productivity for the persons also, that is generally taken as output per man shift, OMS, right? Output per man shift in that particular district or when you consider the total mine and how much is the productivity, all those things also we can estimate. And how to do that, that procedure, everything you should know so that for the uh, selected method of mining, selected machinery to be used to get that much production, then you will know how to plan for that type of methods of mining and then implementation of that methods of mining. That's what we are supposed to know about it. Then uh, in the materials also I will show, but little bit uh, since you will be reading some of the books uh, I wanted to show from there also, it becomes easy for you uh, to understand in a more better way when you read those materials from your site with your uh, reference materials what you have. That's why just some figures I kept it here in the PPT. Otherwise that materials also I will show you today we will discuss further. So in general, our line extraction, whatever we are, we have been following is a diagonal line of extraction and the reasons and all we discussed, you know about it. 
any doubt we can discuss further then splitting of pillar generally this split can be so many it can be two splits uh, i have shown you already or it can be one split and then slices are depending on the requirement and the uh, method of mining uh, with different type of machinery and also whether you want to go be, by caving or stowing you will decide and this uh, example may be something related to where we can split the gallery with a uh, level split and then one deep split and then you can even uh, reduce this by different other slices also of each part of it that is one way of doing it otherwise if you want to protect the surface then you can just fill it back stowing up only this material and then take it out uh, i mean you can uh, say that it is a partial extraction what we could do it and here itself just i would like to show you my beloved students of underground coal mining methods in 1988 this method of just splitting as a final operation was discontinued by dgms uh, because of the reason that in many many coal fields including whether it is a eastern coal fields or singareni colliery company limited or some other bharat coking coal limited or southeastern coal fields limited whatever where we noticed some type of uh, part holes on the surface and disturbances uh, although they were they were designed uh, for stability but its implementation there was some lacuna and all those things so just splitting as a final operation was discontinued from the dms i mean from the permissions because of those type of problems that's what happens uh, in the subsequent conferences of safety you please note down somewhere uh, i don't know whether i have given you a 12th conference of safety which was held i think on 28th 29th january 2020 this is the latest what is done where this is conducted by ministry of labor and dgms uh, who are the authority to give permission for extraction of the pillar since we are discussing this point here you should know all these things some of these materials i have been giving to you from the history of coal mining to other materials latest uh, including coal directory of india what is happening now in your whatsapp groups also and here let me know how many of you go, go through that coal directory or whatever latest material i provided to you have you received it through whatsapp group or not because this is where yes, we sir. advise Uh, yes, yes, very nice, very nice. Okay, so I, I, my main intention is you, my beloved students, have undergone coal mining methods seven two one zero two. Not only just what is there in the books, but what is happening now, at least in India, you should know about it. Then that has been my motto and aim in providing all these informations. And uh, of course, you will be so much busy in so many other subjects, reading and all. But whenever you get time, try to go through that. and if you have any doubts you can discuss with me so that you should be one of the best underground coal mining engineers in the in india at least otherwise also in the world now here as i told you splitting as final operation here itself i am showing you a method in 1988 when this was discontinued that is like a uh, invention right there is a need is a mother of invention okay so at that time uh, already i told you of course uh, before a white stall method of mining that was initiated by dr p n singh dr tivona singh and group where i was also a part of that group as a scientist there in in 1988 89 i joined in 89 with stowing it was in, included i mean it was introduced in east bagadi colliery of bharat coking coal limited and later without stowing introduced in 1990 90s early 90s when i was there in chirimiri area uh, from cmrs uh, for scl just like uh, not a deputation but with uh, some ministry of coal uh, designing some indigenous mining methods and uh, that over uh, with cable bolting thixi mining all those things i told you uh, uh, but now just to continue further to explain that method here you just imagine when i split this with a 4 meter wide gallery now you know very well uh, what will be percentage extraction in a development only this development is there 
so that may be around and now somebody can respond uh, with the uh, uh, with the size i provided last time what was the percentage extraction in the development anybody percentage extraction during the development already in the last uh, before classes uh, we have discussed during development if it is a 20 meter pillar and 4 meter wide gallery something like that we have seen right so it will be around 20 percent during the development right and then yes, if if the permission is uh, to extract a splitting as a final operation in that case what will be extra that you are getting it may be another 20 percent or 15 percent right so this will be the total percentage of extraction when you follow only this as a method of mining so that you are able to provide protection to the surface you imagine that hypothetical case now since that method was discontinued from 1988 then the reasons and all i told you already and there was a hp ghost committee report also where all these things were analyzed with a, so many so many details right i can give you uh, now here uh, if in that situation what we thought at that time i mean dr tn singh and the group okay here instead of having this 4 meter wide uh, split splitting this pillar and getting some percentage extraction x okay of that pillar then instead of that if i widen this gallery itself by this 4 meter on this side and on this side in that case what happens now we will be uh, extracting a stook of uh, uh, i mean leaving a stook of this much size okay that means if it is a 4 meter wide gallery and 20 meter pillar then it will be 16 meters out of this 16 meters now when you are having a 4 meter on this side this side so 12 meter by 12 meter stook will be left and that 12 meter by 12 meter stook will have more stability to protect the surface and giving same percentage extraction uh, i hope you understood that point very simple Yes, no. Somebody should respond. Yes, yes sir. Very sir, good. But the, so, sir, but the gallery that, size, sir, yes. Sir, but the gallery size will increase to 12 meters. No? That's what I am coming to that. So, if percentage extraction is same, then why don't we go for that, okay? Which may give 12 meter by 12 meter stook instead of this small stook of 8 meter by 8 meter or whatever the size remains. Right. So that method is called white stall mining, but that requires this eight meter wide gallery to be properly supported. That is a white stall method of mining. Here in this figure itself, I wanted to show like this. Okay, that's fine. Now that method already I told you uh, experimented in East Bagadi, and there also when we design any methods, indigenous methods, it is supposed to undergo through from the concept stage, conceiving an idea to implementation before that, all these agencies are supposed to be convinced uh, because this is dealing with the mother earth, mother earth, right, inside. So uh, there the permission was given only with stowing and later without stowing also it was done in Chirmiri area, that is a West Chirmiri colony and Bartungai, that's what I told you. That is a, a story about the white stall mining. So I need not explain further about what is that white stall mining is some of the methods, right? So whatever that stooks, now we can extract. This is there in almost all the books. Don't worry for this, okay? Where, when that roof condition is good, how we are extracting it. Now you just see. Or from the split gallery, now I can extract because the roof condition is good. What is the meaning? Meaning is, even if width of the gallery is more, so that roof is very good. So in that way, from the splits itself, now we can start reducing that stook and like this in these stages, number one, number two, number three, right? So that in between now you can uh, you can depend on this uh, to know the stability or status of safety. And like a dar, right? Uh, that means uh, whenever you are widening this, okay, but this 
will not be uh, staying for a long time. So you need not worry much. And that's where comes the based on uh, the situation, right? That grassroots level supervisor, mining Sardar, is also responsible to take a decision whether I can further reduce this stock or not. Otherwise, we we'll leave at that stage and come out. This is what the reduction of the pillar or regard as to is concerned. This happens just now you can understand easily when it is a good and reliable roof, you can do like this and then in a roof. Now you can also do in this way. Now we are starting from the corner, right? And then now you are going uh, uh, with uh, uh, this type of uh, formation of rib on both sides on this go. Okay. And then in a very worst situation, that is a very bad roof conditions. Now, split gallery, now you can, from the split gallery, you can leave something in between and then make small slices. This is nothing but a slice, right? From this side, this side, whatever. Okay. Now, in a bad and unreliable roof, that means a very worst situation where what, what they are doing it, the same thing from here. Now you can see. Now we are connecting this, right? It is, uh, and then we are going on. And during this time, this is serving as some, uh, it is a helping us. That's why I told you in the beginning itself, M means it is a block of coal called fender or chaukidar left unextracted. So that while doing this extraction, now it is serving as a chaukidar. That means it will show that uh, if there is any crushing of that pillar or a rib, uh, then you will come out of it. You will not continue this reduction. You will come out of that. So that is what the way in a bad and unreliable roof. As that means in different situations, how it can be done. It can be, there can be a split in this way, right? In this split gallery, you can make another split gallery and uh, uh, make slices like this. Our slices can be in, in this fashion. In the, so many ways it can be done. A lot of things were already discussed there. And uh, uh, one more thing is, as I, I have shown you for the development workings from coal mines regulations, you also should know from the coal mines regulations, whatever uh, soft copy is there from there. Now I am just uh, showing you uh, depillaring operations related. Also, there are regulations, right? And uh, where it is written very clearly, no extraction or reduction of pillars shall be commenced, conducted or carried out except with the previous permission in writing of regional inspector. Already I told you what is the meaning of regional inspector is they are nothing but now renamed terminology is the director of mine safety uh, in different areas. And then they will be working under a cluster of different group areas. Uh, for example, for the place now where we are for Manadi coal field, some of those mines, they are controlled by the director of mine safety from uh, Chaibasa, right? And another from uh, Bhuvaneshwar. Uh, for them, their headquarter, I mean, is uh, Dunbar. In between, there is a deputy director general who is sitting in the ranch. This is, these are different uh, situations for controlling or for ensuring the safety of mining operations. Now, uh, then there is also other regulations uh, which uh, says, right, uh, how you, you will be applying as a manager of the mine. An application for permission under this shall be accompanied by two copies of updated plan of the area where pillars are proposed to be reduced or extracted, showing the proposed extent of extraction or reduction of the pillars. That means the manner of extraction, method of extraction, they are supposed to give the manner in which such extraction or reduction is to be carried out the thickness and depth of the seam, nature of the roof. Of course, all those systems are supposed to be given. And also, not only by board and pillar method, there can be other methods also in that also that regulation are given extraction of coal by method other than board and pillar method. And in that, just I am showing few points here. No development or extraction of coal by a system other than board and pillar system shall be commenced, conducted, or carried out except with the previous permission writing of chief inspector and in accordance with such uh, conditions as you may specify therein. This may help you to understand and analyze 
as a first class mines manager even you will be writing when you are there in the industry so that you to prove yourself your confidence on understanding the regulations and indian mining law to manage coal mines so here there is a difference in the method of board and pillar it is sufficient to take permission from the regional inspector but other than board and pillar from the chief inspector who is our mr prabhat from our nit raur kal itself 1986 batch now you are super senior sitting in dhanbad now an application for permission under sub regulation shall be made accompanied by same thing with uh, copies of this and that is there uh, only uh, that regulation also i will show but there is another regulation next to that and don't worry for the numbers and other things uh, you will be knowing all that in the legislation but you should know what is there in that technically technical points i am more interested to highlight in that so in the previous two uh, regulation it will not prevent the driving of any gallery through any pillar or enlargement of any gallery already i have given you an example when you have a shaft and then for the purpose of connecting shaft on both sides through the pillar you have to make a small opening when you enter into the mine through the shaft anywhere you can see that i will show you when you are accompanying me in my investigations depending on your interest of course now this is beyond the limit specified by or under these regulations where in the opinion of a manager such work is necessary for haulage this may be hard for the haulage purpose for ventilation purpose for drainage purpose or any other purpose then and of course they have for that some stipulation some code of practice uh, if 14 days previous notice in writing all those things they are supposed to provide so don't worry for the days and other things but you should know what is there now in the opinion of regional inspector i mean the director of mine safety such work may endanger the stability they may not permit you my beloved students of underground coal mining methods but it is up to you technically to convince and then get uh, and you should be uh, ensuring the safety and stability all those things then you can do that so before commencement of such drainage or enlargement or such protective works as he may specify therein then you will be continuing with that and now up to this only just i wanted to show from there and uh, uh, here itself i would like to just show before continuing further from the regulation also this clause so that you will read yourself uh, what is there uh, regarding development related already you have seen because this development and depillaring this a part of our modules uh, module 2 specifically uh, uh, how we are designing that and what are the stipulations availability and all so in the depillaring operations as i was showing you there this is from the regulation or from the 2000 17 coal mines regulation where all these are there uh, and now uh, this is uh, uh, agar hindi mein bolna hai to ye bharat ka raj patra hai right asadharan whatever right in different places from bag 2 khand 3 1 sub class whatever so these are uh, you are supposed to read and understand these things all uh, right i will break within 2 minutes okay don't worry uh, just showing this only uh, i will break it okay uh, i mean break for your doubts so here uh, whatever i was trying to show you uh, uh, there are sub clauses in the depillaring operation few just uh, to know the extraction or reduction of pillars shall be conducted in such a way as to prevent as far as possible the extension of a collapse or a substance of the go over pillars which have not been extracted this is what is called a overriding of the pillars and then after showing this uh, after this uh, break after 2 3 minutes i will go into the mines where we designed all those things then it will be easy for you to understand my beloved students that is the reason why i am showing you this so save as otherwise so here itself you remember this is nothing but overriding of the pillars that we call and uh, some of you can answer in the break also what you understand by overriding of the pillars now in the depillaring operations save as otherwise provided under the regulation no pillar shall be reduced or split in such a number so as to reduce the dimensions of the resultant pillars 
below those required, whatever are there. These are the regulations in that and some of the main important points I wanted to just show you and later you'll read and then if you have any doubts, you can ask me anytime. Now, where the method of extraction is to remove all the coal, as much of the coal as practicable and to allow the roof to cave in, that is when you are following the caving method of mining, operations shall be conducted in such a way to leave as small an area of uncollapsed roof. This is what I was trying to highlight you, my beloved students in the previous class also, uh, so that suppose if there is more area and you are there adjacent to the gulf, right? In that, that gulf, if there is any influence uh, of uh, local fall, major fall taking place, then that will cause a lot of instability, dynamic weighting, and then that may lead to air blast, whatever I told you, I am showing you in the terminology what is written in the regulation. So that you should remember if you are going to be as a coal mining engineer in India till your last uh, whatever you are going to do that with this knowledge, it should be known to you. Uh, that means with due regard to danger from air blast, right, are waiting on pillars and suitable means shall be adopted to bring down the gulf. Then why I am showing this? I showed you already from my latest investigations, whether it is a KTK-5 mine, these are workings in the Orient mine, MCL, and whatever, I have given you so many examples. Chacha mines, Arsam Singhareni, call these mines, Southeastern Coal Fields, Eastern Coal Fields, Bharat Coking Coal Limited. In all works, uh, I will be, I have given you some of the materials already to you and you can also see something more now. So uh, to bring down the gulf for this purpose, we are doing induced caving, right? I told you already, and uh, what are the difficulties, all those things I have told you. Okay, then just last uh, 30 seconds before break. This is a class here, extraction of coal by method other than board and pillar system, whatever I told you. And then there is a saving class uh, wherein, uh, this whatever you have seen uh, for uh, other than uh, for some requirements, requirements uh, where you are reducing that pillar size uh, for the purpose of your haulage ventilation, how this is provided, just I have brought to you, at least up to this, you should know about this. And there are, of course, they have some specific powers of the inspectors, so let us not go into those things, but you should know some idea about it. So here, let me, stop and then uh, go uh, any doubts let me take up yes then once again let me take attendance also we are fortunate today we we are not having much problems of our uh, whatever connectivity problems uh, yes uh, any any doubts my beloved students Don't worry about these instruments. These are all will be installed in deep layering, even in long wall mines also. That's why I kept for your seniors and other scholars to, to show to them since they are not available here. Uh, okay, uh, any doubts? I have taken, I think, attendance. Let me take one second. Uh, if there are no doubts, then I will continue further. Shall I continue? Yes, no. My beloved students. Uh, sir, yes. can you show us any video regarding deep pillaring operations? So many things I have shown you. Even the investigations, what we did in the deep pillaring, showing the gulf where they are working. I mean, so many things I have shown you. I, I don't know. Uh, who, who asked this question? I got it from our uh, Atal Bihar Vajpaisa from heaven. Uh, sir, Aryaman. Arya, very good. So I appreciate you. Uh, I hope you were not there in uh, uh, those classes. Uh, achha, can others respond to him? Arya, Arya's question. Even I explained through some video clippings, which are made specifically for you people, right? I mean, second year underground coal mining methods, showing our models of extraction, long wall, board and pillar in our laboratory itself, NIT Raurkela, uh, we purchase some models, right? And also 
through my investigations in different mines of different methods of mining. In, even we have given some indigenous methods to our country, uh, which were adopted uh, as a circular, as a regulation, whatever it is, whether it is for thick sea mining and already white star mining and something like that. Okay, even some so many photographs. I will show again also, don't worry. Uh, anybody want to respond to this? Surya, Mayank. Yeah. Yes, sir. What? Sir, you have showed some videos of continuous miners. Uh, videos uh, of continuous miners, yes, now. Otherwise, yes. in the beginning, deep learning yes, in RK heating line, that is a Ministry of Coal project, where first time in the world, three seams were extracted simultaneously, contiguous seams. Otherwise, there is no permission in any country to extract like that. And there are so many indigenous methods that we uh, and uh, also some of the materials of methods of thick seam mining other with so many references I have given you. Yes, no. Otherwise, I can show so many things. I can take you inside the mines. Uh, so, uh, that is fine. Arya, I appreciate you. Uh, so shall I show a little bit of any, any photos of these mines now? Yes, no. It is a good question. Uh, I wish. Somebody sometimes may not be available all the time. And just I am taking you to some, uh, shall I take you to some photographs or uh, uh, this one? Which is better? Yes, a photograph. Photograph. Video, video, video bhi sakte hai. otherwise, photo thoda easy hoga, takes less time. So the can... lab one I have seen, sir. So the yeah, lab including the is... plants including the plants and so many things. Some plants also let me show you. Yeah. Uh, now you see, are you able to see this plan? This is GDK number 18 client. Yes, no. Up, yes, no. Up, actively, ye karne se hi mai tikane mein asan hoga. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So this is a total mine of a GDK 18 client. And I have so many photographs and videographs, so many things are there. I told you how these panels are there. Now you see, this is incline, main incline. Okay, you are able to see this, right? And then how this is developed and made into panels. These are blasting gallery method panels where we are doing a lot of investigations. Otherwise, conventional method of mining used for development deep learning. This is what is that. And you can see this is a BG3, this panel numbers go for this panel, one panel, another panel. So then now they are working one panel here, here, and I mean, these are closed now, all extracted, all right? So like this, uh, not only that, you can see even uh, whether it is long wall, other things, we will go it later. And uh, let me just take you to this other photographs of this method and all whatever we have, so that it will be easy for you, I guess. Now this is a, this is a now uh, you you can you have a feeling of me being with me in this deep learning development all these panels now uh, is it fine able to see yes sir good yes sir you can see uh, where we are doing lot of investigations in those mines designing the methods now you can see how hydraulic props now you are there with me so the, he is our uh, uh, B.V. Ramana, and uh, he is a senior uh, deputy general manager. Now he'll be retiring, right? Uh, he's our Rajeshwar taking readings for the uh, whatever stress capsule and other investigation being done. He's our Sridhar. His face is not visible because he's a state of control engineer. He will be visible for you when you read state of control technology. He's another Rajeshwar. Uh, he's a, now he must be a Deputy General Manager, long back when he was there working with me. This is a blasting gallery method uh, developed along the floor, right? And now you can see a clear picture of how it appears, the development. And later we will be doing this uh, uh, method of extraction is uh, after splitting that pillar, then making a ring blast, ring hole. Uh, all around this. That is what is called a gallery blasting. That means we are blasting this gallery with a ring hole pattern, and then that holes may be 20, 30, whatever around this, and then we blast, 
and we will not allow our persons to enter, but our LSD load or dumper, which is remotely operated from a, a, by a person, we will be under supported room, but that uh, uh, LSD will enter inside the gof and get the code. That's what is a, a method of mining. And of course, uh, my person, he was a safety officer at that time. OK, uh, so now you can see when you go to the mines, he will be visible as a very senior man now, maybe a general manager later. Right, so now you can see at the junctions how uh, they are interested to know about the method and uh, whatever uh, designing, planning, so many things. Uh, I am there from this back side here, right? OK, now you can see how this is supported with ports and other things that supports and all. Of course, it is not covered in your this uh, mid sem exam. We will be reading it after mid sem about the support systems, how to design whether it is uh, in the galleries and all. Now you can see different views of that, right? Uh, now you can see even the load hard dumper LHT. OK, how it is operated and uh, this is remotely operated uh, from 15 meter or whatever the length of the cable uh, minimum seven meters. Why is seven? Because when you blast it, so that has to enter inside to get the coal, right? So this is a load hull dumper. This right. Otherwise, video also I shown you, but since he asked me, let let us uh, just it will not take much time uh, because you should not be there with doubts. Now I hope are you able to see my screen? What I have written? Music. So for mining engineers, this is a music. You see, I have not even changed that uh, title when we have done it, right? This I have shown you. This is nothing but a deep learning where we are doing it. And then this is done in three uh, RK18 client. You please note down somewhere, right? So you'll be seeing in so many papers and then books and in some of the materials. So and now this is uh, that deep learning. Uh, mine where it is deep learning is going on, right? Uh, then of course this is a stress and other things being measured in the barrier. Whatever you have seen barrier pillars and all. Now you can see how we are measuring in uh, designing and he is our uh, deputy chief controller. Uh, barrier pillar, how much stress is coming. So I am showing you all this along with the design, right? How the deep learning is designed and monitored, right? Now you can see all this roof and other and connecting from one uh, one seam to other seam in the contiguous seams. I, I, I've taken you all. You, uh, now you can see how at different places. Now this is nicely asked by our Arya. I appreciate you. Now, now this is a very good uh, uh, coincidence. Now you see how this is posted inside the mine. Also, what type of support systems and what is the method of extraction? Now this is a wonderful. Uh, now you can see in the language understood by them, uh, it is written in Telugu. Don't worry, as a Ravindra Gani number 18 line. Okay, so this is a pillar split and then slices. Whatever you have seen in the textbooks, now you can see here. So this is a total pillar. This is a split, right? And this is a way how we uh, have given the support system. Okay, and then uh, he. This is uh, two rows of uh, these bolts. Okay in the split and then in the slices and then this slice with a rip left again is the go on this side and this side and now I am taking you inside this split and near the go edge also from here and I hope this is really giving you a good idea uh, for for everybody. Now our all these overments and the mining surveys are there. Uh, he is a very senior overment there. Now you can see how this is supported it extracted, how okay, they blasted it, and then these are the split and slices. What, what support provided? Skin to skin, who could support how they are provided on the corners of the chip are provided. Right now, you can see uh, while, while doing that, I think it's okay, now you can see uh, this. Uh, Now you can see how these supports are erected and then uh, how it is being monitored, the blasting, how the face appears, right? You can see our uh, now how this is uh, uh, 
monitoring results also how it is written uh, so that everybody can understand that uh, this is a convergence happening on this day. Uh, this is written in the Telugu as a convergence station. Okatawa Rozu, Rondo Rozu, Mudo Rozu. This is the way it is written on first day, second day, fourth day, whatever. Nil, this much convergence, this much, whatever. So that now people are safe and uh, stability is ensured. And that is not only in the design, but also in the implementation in the mind. And now uh, I am taking you inside along with our deputy controller or Mujumdar, who are sitting in the Kolkata now. Uh, now, okay. I need a setup. Fine. Now I'm taking you inside. Huh? Now it is extracted out, coal is taken out. That LSDs are loading onto these uh, tubs, okay? And then these are hauled by our uh, uh, system of uh, rope haulage, whether it's a direct haulage, endless haulage. He is our Mr. Narayan, he's area general manager. Now at that time, he was a uh, assistant manager in that mine uh, with, with our team, uh, whatever. Now, now I am taking you a little bit more inside. These are the different. Sorry, voice is not coming properly. Sir, your voice has stopped from me. Right, now you give my wife. Yes. Very good. So, my beloved student, this type of problems may be there regarding the wife. That is the reason why there is a standing instruction similar to the method of mining. There are code of practice, standing instructions. And uh, now, this is, I have taken you even to the near to the go field, where skin to skin chalks are there. And on the corner, there is a prop. You are seeing this. Uh, this, this water on the corner there is a prop uh, so that while withdrawing this chalk this props will provide you support and later with a sylvester prop withdrawal we will withdraw this uh, from the go edges this props also now once again i am taking you inside once again now go oh, this is a local fall and later some major fall takes place where go will be totally filled and these are the ribs adjoining your deep layering working. And this is a part of the very innovative, indigenous experimental trial, first time done in the international mining scenario where three scenes, contiguous scenes were expanded. Right? And generally, photography or videography is not permitted. Special permissions were taken. Now you are seeing the arrangement, how it is made. Just to show to you, my beloved students, when we do this deep layering, how the goof appears, how the working, and how to ensure the stability. These are the ribs adjoining. Again, is the go. Now, you can see as if you are there with me in the depillaring panel, observing the depillaring panel. Now, I hope this must have taken you to. Now, you can see a beautiful drop of water. You, I hope you love it. You see that. 
Now, have you seen a beautiful drop of water? Yes, no. Kaji, dekha ya nahi dekha? Manchi nil garavate ya leda? This three languages only I can talk. Okay. In NEP 2020, we have to teach in the language which is understood by our students. Okay. So, this is the way how this plan and so many things are there in the deep learning panel. How you plan, how you submit to the DGMS, how you record the data of the subsidence. And this is a that panel. Now you can see, including the section of the plan, I will be showing you hundreds of plans available with me. And uh, now, even in my room, also here, uh, any other time, top uh, cup, anyway, I'm showing in between. This is a deep learning panel with a line, diagonal line of extraction. Now you can see a little bit further inside that mine with different type of support in the deep learning development panel. A little bit more. I hope this is fine, uh, Arya and others. Uh, I appreciate Arya for asking this genuine question. Uh, although it was shown before, but this is more appropriate. Uh, now I am also showing you, my beloved students, this transport arrangement. Right? This can be through conveyor, this can be through uh, direct row haulage or uh, uh, endless row haulage, whatever the name you give, uh, to take out, evacuate coal from the field and up to the surface. It can be a, uh, a network of conveyors or it can be these tubs of one, one uh, meter cube or it may be uh, about 1.5 tons, right? Or it can be mine cars of two tons. Now people are using with different locomotive haulages and all. And uh, I, I am not going to teach you all the organization thing because mining machinery, we have, I think, minimum one semester and two semesters. Or middle hand I am leaving it to you. Uh, if you have any doubt, then we will discuss. Now you are there with me, seeing how coal is extracted, dust and near the face, in the go, near the go bed, and also how it is transported from the deep learning panel up to the surface through tubs loaded by load all dumpers, or SDLs, whatever uh, the mechanism, right? And already you have also seen some of the examples of whatever I have shown you, Chacha mines, GDK5 mines, Korean mines, GDK11, GDK8, 21 incline, VK7 incline, TVK5 incline, and so many long wall panels also we will be showing you. This is what the uh, training to be provided to the people, how to manage and how to monitor, design, technically ensure all that. And you may also see now some of our very good person uh, who are providing small ledges also with some support. Now you can see this is a ledge where widened galleries are there, extra support provided, and uh, with a green topi. Right? But all these things you are supposed to provide, my beloved students. Now you know how deep learning is done, how support is provided how this coal is extracted to LSDs, SDLs, and uh, uh, how that working up here, you are there with me in the transport of coal through this method of mining. And uh, that method already you have seen just now, my beloved student. So here I am stopping it. Uh, I hope that is fine, Arya and others. Now you, you have a very good idea of total uh, extraction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Very good. So now let me continue a little bit further uh, instead of starting here. I wanted to start today itself a uh, little bit about Langwa. Right. Okay. Uh, now, already we have seen in that mine, CTK from mines, how much stress is coming on the barrier pillar, how it is measured. Of course, that report I have shown you, so I am not showing the. Uh, but I am more interested in the natural faults and then induced caving need to be done, artificial lines of fracture. And I have shown you uh, why it is required and all. And this is what is overriding of pillars. Uh, can anybody answer this? Otherwise, don't worry. We will go further. You think and make it uh, for the next time. And there may be sometimes when you stop depillaring, this is from the Chacha mine, so there may be heavy bumping sounds, right, on 18-9-2017 from second ship due to major roof and side fall. It happened. Okay. So you can. 
a bearish stability was also estimated through numerical models. And what is the difference between local fall and main fall? That also you can answer uh, now after uh, whatever two three minutes when we stop the class. And deep learning can also be with the stowing. And uh, this general requirement which is there, which you learned in the previous semester, I am not uh, going to discuss so many things here. Uh, why stowing is required and all, right? Uh, of course, you can uh, also read from my reference material, right? Uh, in fact, today I want to go into some long wall mining and what are the prepared arrangements before deep learning, right? And uh, at the mine, what is done, including scam, all those things, right? And uh, of course, plans prepared and all, planning the deep learning operations, right? Uh, why pillar split is restricted to only four or two rows of pillars while deep learning. This is the requirement in the regulation. Why it is so? So these are the things that we should advise students, below students should understand. And splitting of pillars, already I told you, from the 2017 regulation, and of course, showing in the KTK 5 mine also I've shown line of extraction we discussed, and why diagonal line of extraction is another PEP question, continuous evaluation question, right, for you. And stook extraction sequence, already we have seen uh, through that figure. And KTK 5 mine, uh, these details already I have shown you through the uh, example, right. Uh, for the support designs, of course, I will uh, take up only after them, don't worry. But in the percentage extraction, when I was asking you, there may be around 59, 55, 42 different, but with a wide style, around 42. So we will be designing the methods for uh, whether you split with one split, three slices, one split, two slices, only quartering means uh, just only uh, making it two, one deep split, one level split, something like that, that is making it to four. Our only splitting, uh, then how much percentage extraction we are getting from this mine, you can see here. Uh, around 33% when you split, when you develop it, only 23%, and when you do white stall, 42, and quartering also 42, same we are getting it. That is the way how we design the method for different things, okay? If voice not audible, so next time we will not waste time. Like this, we will continue, my beloved student. Scam report, it is not required for you now. It is KFI details, we have seen. Strata control, we will see only after mid -sem method of mining already we have seen it, uh, how uh, they uh, extracted the pillar with a rhombus shape because of tip direction when it is a, that's the reason why apparently it was done after slicing then. Now I, today I wanted to initiate something about the long wall mining, my beloved student, and uh, here I would like to stop. Uh, some materials already provided to you. In the next class we will go in detail into the long wall mining. Now I am stopping at this stage uh, and materials are with you. Uh, now let me take your attendance and any doubts and summary. Without entering into other classes, let us try. Yes. Uh, any doubts, further doubts? Next class, we will be going in more detail into this. Yes. Who is ready to summarize? Uh, yes, sir. I'm Arya. Yeah, Arya. Continue. Yes, sir. Uh, so we uh, begin our class with uh, uh, machineries used in uh, uh, the mining, and uh, we followed by manpower production and productivity. Uh, in machineries, we uh, came to know about the continuous miner and uh, the output it produces is 25, uh, 2500 tons. And uh, in uh, LHDs and HDLs, uh, 150 to 200 and 200 to 250 respectively. Then we came to know about the line of extraction and depillaring. Uh, in that, we came to learn about splitting of pillars, uh, the caving and the stowing. The stowing is done. In order to protect the surface, uh, fill back, it is a process of fill back and uh, uh, splitting as a final operation. You also said that splitting as a final operation was discontinued by DGMS in the 20th conference. 
um then you gave us the example that stowing process was used in ssl ebcl in 1989 when you joined and uh, now 20% uh, yes sir so you said that about uh, 20% during development that is the percentage of extraction and another 15% during depilling uh, while uh, protecting the surface uh, it is the percentage extraction that uh, we came to know uh then uh, you told us about wide stall uh, mining um and uh, in that uh, the extraction then you told us about the extraction of stook under different roof condition for example uh, how we will extract under good and reliable roof under uh, only reliable roof then bad roof and very bad and very unreliable roof uh, in that uh, in those things we came to learn about that Uh, then you told us about uh, different regulations during depilling processes. Uh, for example, every depilling process requires DGMS permission, and application uh, for a, application written permission along with two copies of updated plans uh, where extraction is proposed. Showing details need to be uh, uh, asked. Uh, regulation one 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 and one one two. Uh, will prevent the diving of any gallery through any pillar or endangerment of any gallery beyond limits 14 days previous notice in writing needs to be provided uh, permission um, uh, won't be provided if dgms thinks uh, the stability of the roof is endangered uh, those things we learned then you to you asked us about overriding uh, of pillar air blasts um then i uh, then you showed us in the uh, video about uh, gdk 8 incline the uh, panels all different panels um in in those things you showed us showed us about hydraulic props lhds etc roof hollet system uh, to uh, that, that is able to uh, transport about 1.5 tons each and you showed us about go and uh, told us about local fall and a um, letter of major fall and uh, we uh, saw that iron pillars and wooden props for the support um, then you told us about the percentage of extraction for example one split three slices 4 meter each uh, is able to produce 59% one split two slice 5 meter is able to produce 55% if we are doing only quartering we are able to produce 42% if we are doing only splitting 33% and uh, we will learn about more in long wall mining in the next class very good so we also try to see uh, different with reference to previous reports of uh, whatever investigations are designing the methods are concerned that it is a ttk5 or ketcha mine all that i try to show you and of course we discussed at length regarding support systems and all of course we will be discussing in the next uh, after with them in a different module but the methods of mining with whatever you have the knowledge in the previous semester i try to update you with the latest what is happening and in the next classes we will be discussing i mean on friday also in the long wall mining already i provided you the material of all uh, this uh, module 2 regarding deep layering long wall and all and there were four questions continuous evaluation process question posed to you and uh, i hope uh, you will be uh, ready to answer in the next not now don't worry uh, otherwise you can ask me i will explain further but you should know about it and these are the materials that we have provided to you on extraction of pillars and long wall mining and mechanization of underground coal mining uh, with this today let us close Uh, you have any class now otherwise i can take extra time so we have a class okay okay now we should not uh, mr mother so before closing what we should do jai hind jai bharat okay jai hind jai bharat now i have seen inside the mine also in the video which is uh, uh, running here uh, how is the deepening plan i have taken you into the deepening plan showed you all this working okay in one of the prestigious projects by ministry of coal where internationally for the first time three contributors were extracted simultaneously 
Okay, all this. That was in RK18 line. There is a small correction uh, to our summary. That is not the 20th conference of safety. That is a 12th conference of safety in mind. Please note down. Because everybody should know about this. That's what I want. Okay. So, uh, of safety in mind. That was held on the 29th January 2020. And then, this mine is RK18 line. Uh, uh, in Singerani College, Company Limited, and other plastic gallery and other things, whatever is shown, uh, is from dedicating line and so many mines names I have told you. So, with this, I think now uh, I can close for today. All the best, my beloved students. Take care of Omicron and COVID 19, and you are there with living God. Your parents take care of them. Okay, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. I am closing now. All the best. Any doubts? Don't hesitate to ask me through WhatsApp, through mail, through phone. Uh, through phone, of course. Other than my sleeping time, uh, I mean 10 to 4 or 5, whatever. All the best once again. Uh, now I am closing, stopping recording now.